um, we're lucky enough to have you coming back to the to the Range of Motion Athlete Camp to present your module on strongman as you did last year. Um, last year's attendees at the camp actually rated your module a nine point four two out of ten. So. It was absolutely one of the most popular modules of the weekend. People came away with so much. For those people who are attending this year's Athlete Camp, Dan, what can they expect to be working on with you? Uh, Look, I think think we had a great great time last year. Um, And I I think everything we went through was was great. Mm. Um, I'm going to bring back pretty much all the same stuff we uh, we had last year. But I'm also going to bring a couple of extra new things down for uh, for people as well. Right. That way, um, for anyone who's new, we can go over those basics again. For anyone who was there last year and wants a refresher on those basics, we can go over those again. But for anyone who was there last year and they want to, you know, expand on their skill set, we can have a few new things for them to work on as well. Right. So talk to us about some of the toys that you're bringing down for us to play with. Um, well, like last year, we've got Yokes Farmers, uh, the Stones, and um, and the axle, mm-hmm. um, a couple of new things that I wanted to uh, to bring down um, was, uh, was was the dumbbell press, um, being a, a bit different, being a uh, being you know an dumbbell press, but obviously it, it changes things up a little bit because it's just one sort of side of the body that you're uh, that, that you're actually actively pressing with. The way you balance, the way you move with it is uh, is, is a little bit different. So that's the first extra thing that I wanted to bring down. And then uh, the second thing that I wanted to do um, in, terms of, in terms of newer stuff um, uh, was the actual deadlift, which it changes up the mechanics of your deadlift a little bit and it does feel slightly different or it does feel slightly different to how a, a, a rack pull was, is going to feel. It doesn't. It's not exactly the same. I personally feel working from height in this way actually translates better over to your deadlift because you can keep more normal deadlift mechanics, whereas I always find that off, off blocks or from a rack, it just feels to me like it loads differently. Yeah. Um, so it's, 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 a, it's a good alternative to sort of try there as well. And um, the last thing I want to do is use a lot of the implements that we already had down there um, uh, last year and expand upon what we did there. So, you know, work on, uh, on, on things like, you know, sandbag carries for distance as opposed to just, um, the loads and also combine things like say the yoke and the farmers into a medley entering a different stimulus there as well. Great. It's, um, I think one of the reasons that it was so popular last year is because it really does have this novelty value and it's, it's one of the points we've talked about, but it's, it's so exciting and fresh and novel and new. And yeah, I can't wait to, to learn from you more again. I picked up so much myself personally last year. Uh, and like I said, it was a huge success. So we're, we're super lucky to, to have you back on the coaching team. Can't wait to be back, Dan. It was a great day last time. It was indeed. Um...